We now return to Engineering Disasters on Modern Marvels. In Hartford, Connecticut, a light snowstorm fell on the night of January 18, 1978. A routine matter in a New England winter. But those four and a half inches of wet snow were the straw that broke the camel's back in an engineering disaster so colossal it was hard to comprehend. In downtown Hartford is the new Civic Center in its arena, the replacement for a massive structure with a fatal flaw. I assume in other parts of the world they may have had bigger disasters, but, but this was a very large structure. I mean, size-wise, it was 300 feet by 360 feet. It was a huge, huge structure, and, uh, and, uh, and it came down. The arena had stood for six years under an advanced space truss roof design, second largest of its type in the world, and considered an engineering marvel. Less than five hours earlier, thousands of fans had cheered a hockey game. Yet that night, under the weight of the wet snow, the roof suddenly folded and crashed onto the seats below. That was one of the first designs that was uh, made relying very heavily on the computer. It was uh, simply uh, too complicated to, to calculate using the old methods of a slide rule and hand calculations. This was exactly the problem, that it wasn't braced properly to form this kind of a buckling shape, what we call the S-shape. It formed this kind of a shape, and it takes much, much less force to buckle it, and uh, believe me, when the load came uh, on the structure uh, at uh, 17 pounds of snow, uh, it, it, just, it just didn't it buckled. Computers were still new then, and engineers were not as familiar with them as they are today. In this case, the engineers' complex computer-aided calculations were correct. The mistake came in transferring the computer's results into plans the builders could use. The bracing system for the 30-foot roof members was all wrong. They thought it was bracing it at its midpoint, uh, at the 15-foot uh, point. It was a big mistake an obvious mistake and it slipped by everybody. The problem showed signs or showed itself at construction but no one recognized it. They had tremendous amount of problems in trying to put this thing together. The parts didn't seem to fit even though they were fabricated precisely. So the contractor simply forced things into place and for six years the building stood. It really takes a major blunder to have a major disaster. Structures, uh, structures are very forgiving uh, for one reason or another. Structures don't really want to come down. Uh, they are redundant. Uh, they tend to stay up. Uh, they take a major, major blunder to have one come down. If we make a mistake, as a structural engineer, uh, it's not like uh, you're going to sweat a little bit because the room gets hot. It's uh, not to take anything away from a mechanical engineer, okay? But if we make a mistake, uh, you could